Uh, I'm gonna go where the, here. where the pillows are. Yeah, that's. I can go on the onto the bed. No, that I just think because you might you're gonna you're gonna want to use your arms a little bit, so you won't want to um. Okay, I'm good here. That's it. So, so I'm good. Good. Shall we do it this way? Yeah, that that's fine. That's fine. But right now, what we're gonna talk about a little bit is about uh, the most effective breathing for calming for feeling more calm. It's done with the nose in and also out with the nose. So some people naturally breathe with their mouths, but for a type of breathing that in a sense tricks your body into feeling more calm just because of what you're doing, it's called deep belly breathing. And so a way we can feel that, I'm actually just gonna get one thing here. This is a, a Hoberman sphere. See you. What happens when I, it's a kind of a toy, an engineering toy. When I pull the hands apart, the, the dome gets large. And then when I push it back together, is everything okay? Yeah, you were frozen for a minute there. Oh, sorry. Let me start again. So this is a Hoberman sphere. This is if we were to imagine this was our belly. When we breathe in, it feels like this is happening to our belly. The belly is expanding. And then when you breathe out, the belly gets small again. The muscle is pulling the belly towards the spine. That's, you can imagine that is in your stomach. So if you put your hands on your stomach in the lower part of your belly, so it's kind of resting kind of on that crease and you're kind of giving your belly a, a lift, yeah. And so when you breathe in, you can feel your hands start to kind of like feel like they're spreading apart because your belly is expanding. And then as you breathe out, the belly softens and you can feel the muscle kind of pulling the belly back in because it there's an activity, it's happening. So breathe in, your belly will get round like a balloon is blowing up inside only your belly. And then you breathe out nice and long and slow through your nose. Let me try that one more time. Now take one of your hands and put it on your chest and one hand is on your belly. It doesn't matter to me which to be right or left, it doesn't matter, whatever you feel comfortable. So what's gonna happen is first you're gonna breathe in and you're gonna feel your belly getting round. But then as the breath gets fuller and fuller till you almost, you start to feel your hand is lifting up a little bit, like you're opening your chest up and you're kind of making you feel happy. And then as you breathe out, your hand on your chest goes down as your chest sinks a little bit, and then your belly releases. It's called wave breathing. So we breathe in belly to chest, and then out chest to belly. Let's just do one more together. And you can release your hands and just put them down in your lap. Paying attention to your breathing is the quickest and easiest way to get in touch if you're feeling nervous or angry or upset or those were and then but by doing your in here and just doing some wave breathing. Can you not hear me? Uh, again, it's a little bit in and out. I don't know why. I think it might be our internet, but um, I think it's okay. Let's okay. just. It, it's basically what I'm saying is anytime you want to, I, I even set my watch that it rings. At, you can set it for a variable. So it rings and then I'm like, oh, 
I got to do my belly breathing or I got to do my wave breathing and I do it three times. And then because it's like set that way, it'll just ring again in an hour. And it reminds me to do my breathing in an hour. Some days I really feel like I need to be reminded because I'm overwhelmed with what's going on in my life. Right? So conscious breathing, consciously paying attention to your breath is key. So we're just going to do some movement use our arms and we consciously breathe while we're doing the movement. So what's gonna happen is our hands will be by our sides. We're gonna breathe in and raise our arms up as high as you're comfortable doing, not as high as I'm going, and then breathe out, back down. Nice and slowly, nice, beautiful. Breathe in like the shoulder tells the arm, up, 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 up. Arm is coming up, and the last thing that comes up is the fingers. And then they melt down whenever you're ready to let go of your breath. It's not my breathing. It's for you to notice for you. So let's do a couple more on our own time. Breathing in when it goes up. And breathing out when it goes down. And you can even be thinking of your wave breathing while you're doing this. So you breathe in your belly, your chest, your chest, and belly. Again, rise up, breathe in. And out. And just one more time. And you'll bring your hands to your lap and just take a moment to notice how you feel right now. You might want to close your eyes or look down at the tip of your nose. I'm not trying to feel a certain way, just noticing. So the next movement that we're going to do is part of the movement we just did, but with a little bit of a chest opener to get a little stretch in our chest. So we're going to breathe in. Our arms are going to lift up like they did, but before they go down, they're going to open like bird wings. Yep. And then when you feel a good stretch just for yourself, then as you breathe out, it's like you're bringing your wrists towards each other and then they go back down. Yeah, like a bird. And then we breathe in, arms up and open. Fly, it opens your chest up. And then the bird's wings swing back towards the center and then they float down. And they don't have to come all the way together with the wrist, that was just an indication. So if we breathe in, arms up, fingers are the last thing, then the fingers open wide, like the bird that touches the wind and then the hands start to like trail through water, almost like as if there was a, or beads, hanging beads. And then you get to about right here and then you can float your hands down. So it can be more natural. Let's do that again. Breathe in up and open chest wide. Feel that big expansive breath and breathe out. Let's just do one more of those. Breathe in, up, and open, and together and down. Rest your hands in your lap. Maybe close your eyes or look down at your nose. And just notice how you're feeling now. Notice tingling, sensations in your body, sensations in your mind, feeling more relaxed feeling energetic at the same time. And just take a few belly breaths in between here. So breathe in, feel your belly expanding and you don't have to hold it or you can hold it, it's up to you. So 
we're going to put our hands on our knees and we're just going to do some little circles with our body like we're going around the axis of our like as if there was a pole in the middle of us so we just, and i'm going to turn just to the side for a second so you can see what that looks like let me just turn i go to the side i go to the front i go to the side and i go to the back side front yeah and you can go it's either you're mirroring me or you're doing it in the opposite direction. It's fine. You're just trying to get a little bit of a circle. Like your your, bond, your spine is an old coffee grinder. The <laughs> handle's going around. It's churning. Often when I teach kids, I tell them that if they have any bad thoughts going on, they can put them in their belly and then crush them up into Turkish coffee. So this is a fine powder. You can even smile a little bit while you do this. It's okay. It's called practice your inner smile. It could be a secret smile like you're the Mona Lisa. And let's come around to the center. Take a moment. And then we're going to go in the other direction. So feel the way you were going. And go the other way now. I breathe in when I go to the front. And I breathe out when I go to the back. Just feel your spine moving. Pay attention to your spine. Consciously paying attention to your breathing. Whatever way your breathing is fine, just pay attention to it. And after you finish your next circle, you'll come to the center. Take a breath in. And a breath out. And we're going to do spinal flexes. So I'm once again going to turn to the side so that you can see what my spine is doing. I'm going to breathe in and pull front. I'm going to breathe out and I'm going to round back. Like I'm holding my knees, but my spine is being as round as it can be. Then I pull my knees and it pulls my chest forward through my arms. I breathe in like somebody's almost holding my shoulders and saying, you can't go anywhere. And I'm trying to make my spine go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle inside my shoulders, right? So it's just the spine. That's a hard thing. It takes a long time, but just put it in your mind. Your mind will be telling yourself to do it. Breathe into the front and breathe out to the back. So when you breathe in, your chest opens up. It makes you feel energetic and light and happy. And then as you breathe out, you feel more calm, more relaxed, fluid. And breathe in front. And breathe out back, grounded. And you go back and forth a few times on your own. Just to feel your spine and your body moving, paying attention to you. It can be a tiny little movement. It doesn't even have to be a big movement because it has to be good for you. This time is for you to know you. You can ask me questions about me and I'll tell you after. <laughs> so the next time we're going to breathe in, we're going to pull ourselves forward. Take a deep breath in with your nose, and then as if you kind of hold in your pee, you're going to pull in your bladder, pull up your organs, pull up your belly like you're trying to pull it all up into the spine right there. Hold it for three, two, one, and release. <sighs> Shake your hands a little bit. Just kind of like as if you have water on them and you just want to get maybe above your head even. Put them above your head and shake them. And they could come back down. You could kind of maybe shake your shoulders like you're trying to shake off a, 
like a scarf is on your shoulders. And now you're trying to get your ribs in there and your ribs are going and your hips are going. And maybe your feet are bouncing up and down on the ground like you're running in place. <laughs> Go ahead, take a big breath in. Arms way up. Oh, reach, 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 reach. And breathe out. Let the arms float back down to the sides. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. By just doing a few chest things, things that open our chest, it makes our energy feel lighter. It's like when people do back bends. By opening your chest, you're doing a back bend. Maybe not in your back part, but even so you are. Because when we do this, here's my back bend. My back went in, my chest opened. Happy. Nervous, worry, concern. Chest goes back spine round and now I'm doing you know like putting my nose to my knee it's a forward bend right and so they have different uh, they make you feel different ways when you do that all right so now we're going to do a little side opening because we have stuff under here especially in our armpits that need to get stretched out so we're going to bring our hands above our head this is called dancing with rainbows so we're going to lean a little bit to the side like there's a rainbow between my two hands or a slinky and then i push the slinky up i catch it in the other hand and now i'm holding the rainbows on the other side yeah there's no specific and i breathe in up and breathe outside stretching our side a little bit if this feels too much you could always put your arm down if there's a little there should be no pain back to the center and over to the other side you can kind of feel like you're dancing and let's just kind of go a little bit like let's not stay too long in that bend let's just kind of make it nice and shallow gentle stretching in the armpits And one more on both sides. Over to the side. Let's hold it there for a deep breath in. And a breath out brings you to the top. To the other side, take a breath in. Hold it there. And breathe out. Use your tummy to pull yourself up. Once again, let's interlace our fingers. Turn the palm to the ceiling. And now press up. You can really press up with, I'm just going to come, this part of your hand. I don't care if your arms are straight. More so that you're trying to push to the lower part of your palm up to the ceiling and not worrying about if your arms are straight or not. It's an energetic thing. Let's hold our breath. And we're going to do just a deep breath in. Once again, zip up your root lock, which means lift up your anus, sex organs, and belly button. Lift it up like you're trying to pull it into your spine. Hold it for three, two, one, and release your arms down. Put your hands on your stomach or in your lap and just take a few moments to breathe. Close your eyes, check in with yourself. Just going to do one more exercise before we take another moment of resting. Um, so this one is, is a little bit of a bend to it, so it helps to open up our back. So what's going to happen is we're going to scoop our arms like we're trying to scoop up something. And so I'm, I'm bending just a very little. You could certainly bend as much as you can. I'm just showing it with a I'm bending. Then I'm going to be lifting my arms up like I'm trying to take my shirt off. And then I spread my arms open and they come back down. All right, so let me come here. So we, we scoop, crisscross, lift up like you're taking off your t-shirt, look up at your hands for a moment, and then look at me, and then open your arms up. Good. Breathe in down. All the way up. We're holding our breath if we get to the top of our breath. Yep. Yeah. And then take the shirt off and breathe out. 
Down, breathe in. Pulling yourself up, using your stomach muscles to lift you up and breathe out, arms out to the side. Beautiful. Again, let's do three more. Breathe in, roll it up. Breathe out, float them down. Again, breathe in. All the way up. And breathe out. One last time. Breathe in. All the way up. Let's hold it there for a second. We're actually going to make a little, we're going to put all our fingertips together. So we make a little crown. And we're going to put that right over the top of our head. Like we can feel like the crown, like we'd be putting it boop, right down on our head, right? Yep, just you can feel that, sure. And we're just going to close our eyes and try to hold this position for 30 seconds, right? So close your eyes, go deep inside. Just pay attention to your breathing. Try to accept the vessel, be empty. One more breath in. Release your hands down. You can like rub them together as you're coming down. Yep. I'm going to try to build up the energy in our hands a little bit so we make the palms warm. Sometimes my fingers don't get warm, but I can usually get my palm to be warm. And we're just going to do a little tapping. So we're going to tap our hand gently down our arm. Yep, all the way to the fingers, and I turn the palm over, I give a few claps, and I go back up the inside of the arm, up to the shoulder, right up into this area right here. Give yourselves a gentle tut, tut, tut. That's connected to your lungs. So that helps open up your lung channel. So it gives you a little bit more room for breath. And if we do our arms like this, down one side, it doesn't matter, it can be down one side and up the other. It doesn't have to be the same. And then turn your palm over and go up the other way. That's your heart channel in the arms. It's the for ancient Chinese medicine. It's a meridian point. It is what it is. <laughs> and let's go to the other side. So the first thing we're going to do is we're kind of give our like our shoulders a pat. Right? Get a little energy going. And then we can go down the top of the arm to the hand. Turn it over, tap up the other side. Wait a minute, I have one. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Just up and down, once up one way and down the other way. And then let's do our lung, our lung point again on this side now, or the other side. I think that's the side you did already, Hilla. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, I, I think I goofed up on that too. Now we can kind of, you know, give our bellies a pat because that actually helps us uh, lose a little weight. So, you know, give yourself a little pat around the, the, the girdle area, the girth. Extra, extra bit on your belly helps with your digestion. And then we're going to do our thigh. And if you can, you're going to go down to the front of your leg and maybe even the top of your foot and the sides of the leg the back of the leg, all the way back up to the top, and then over to the other leg. Just gentle, no bruises down the front, the foot, the leg all the way up to the top. A little bit on the sides here. We'll do a quick, since our hands are nice and warm, let's do a dry wash your face, like you're washing your face, but you have no soap. So you just wash your whole face, your, your forehead, your cheeks. You can clean your ears. 
and your neck could stroke your neck a little bit and front to back. And you can even do a dry wash of your hair. Like just kind of like rub your fingers through your hair. Give yourself a little dry wash. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to show you um, a, a little meditate, a little focusing activity that I like to do. It uses my hands. It uses something that I say, and it keeps me focused. So um, in English, when I teach it, I say, I am so calm. So you can use English. You could go one, two, three, four. You could count to the number four. Do you do you speak German? Do I speak German? Yes. Yes. So, I mean, I, I did look up a little bit. I, I wanted to try to, uh, I, I, I looked up a little bit about what it would be in German. So, uh, excuse if I don't pronounce it correctly. Uh, you could be, of course, eins, zwei, drei, vier, right? Eins, zwei, drei, vier, eins, zwei. You could count to a hundred. You, you, you can do anything. Uh, I did look up uh, ich bin ruhig, ruhig, ruhig. In ruhig. Ruhig. Ich bin ruhig. Ich bin ru so that's a little short because ruhig is almost one sound. So it could be ich bin jetat, jetat ruhig. Total. Like now, I am now. Uh, ich bin jetzt ruhig. Oh, sehr, very. Yeah, yeah, ich very. Yeah, sehr ruhig. Uh, you ich want something with four syllables ja. in a sense. Ich bin sehr ruhig. Mm -hmm. It's a little, you could, but if, 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 if rig could be one, two sounds, then it could be two sounds also, you know. I just wanted to show you. It, it, it's something you can do. So you would take your thumb and touch your pointer fingers. Then you would switch to the middle finger, then to the ring finger, and then to the pinky, right? So you can have your hands relaxed in your lap or, uh, you can hold them up so you can look at them. It's it's how you like to do it. In, in English, I would do it like this. I am so calm. And each word has, I touch the finger. Let me come a little closer. I am so calm. Telling myself that I feel calm is a way to increase calmness in yourself. So you can say it however you like to say it. And the, a good pattern would be, we could try it like this. We say it four times out loud. I am so calm, I am so calm, I am so calm, I am so calm. Four times we whisper. Eight times we say it in our head, but we continue to do the fingers because it's four times silent, then four times silent again then four times in whisper, and four times out loud. So the pattern is out loud, whisper, silent, silent, whisper, out loud. Like a mirror. And I'll, 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 I'll say it as we go. So let's just try to do this together. It's a nice way to finish up. Take a breath in. Sometimes a sigh feels good. Sometimes you gotta sigh. All right. So we're gonna do it out loud first. I am so calm. I am so calm. I am so calm. I am so calm. calm. Now we whisper it. I am so calm. I am so calm. Two more. I am so calm. I am so calm. Now we do it in our head eight times. That's once. This 
is number four. Four more. Two more times. Now we're going to whisper again. I am so calm. 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 Hands to your belly. Close your eyes and check in with yourself. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. We'll bring our hands together. We're going to rub them one more time to make them warm. You're going to put one hand on your heart and the other hand on top. Breathe in. Give yourselves a happy, healthy, loving squeeze. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much. And you can release with a big sigh. <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And let me let me go turn that off and I'll come right back up, okay? Okay.